Hey guys, this is the Rabbit Taco, and this is a short tutorial on how to enable Bluetooth on your DS4 using the Titan 1. The first thing you're going to see is to update your firmware. This is really important. There was a new firmware release today. It's going to make this process much more painless. The second step here is you want to go to up to Tools, go to Firm Options, fourth tab over Device. Make sure there's a checkbox in automatic DS4, DS3, 6-axis Bluetooth pairing. Make sure you're in frame out. One, mill one millisecond response and DS4 or BT boost are all selected. And save and close out of that. That is all you need to know for the device settings. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is the continuation of how to set your... DS4 to run Bluetooth on the Titan 1. Now I do apologize, I am using my cell phone for this. I don't have a really good external camera. And hopefully you'll be able to see everything. Um, please excuse the mess, this is my home office, work office, and pretty much everything office. But as you can see in the mess, there's my Titan 1, a small Bluetooth adapter, and a bunch of cables. So with the new firmware update that came out today, it's going to make this much, much easier. It's going to fix a lot of Bluetooth issues people were having and just make this a much better system altogether. So the first thing you want to do, and like I said, I'm going to try and do this one-handed, so please forgive me, is attach your Titan 1, which mine should have been left attached, but I didn't. Let me try and switch to this because I am right handed. Alright, there we go. So you're here at connect. Now take your Bluetooth dongle and just attach it to the back of the Titan 1. Now this, this may seem counterproductive because your Bluetooth isn't set up yet. But with the new firmware update, what this is going to do is it's going to allow the Titan 1 to get the Bluetooth ID from the Bluetooth connection, which it will then eventually pass over to the DS4. So at this point, you can see the little blue light blinking, so it does have the information it needs from the Bluetooth dongle. So we're just going to unplug that. And as soon as I remember what I do with my other cable here, I'm going to take, I have a nice short USB cable that I use for testing scripts and everything on the PC. Okay, maybe this is going to work. If it didn't want to keep running away. Alright, so now we just have a micro USB, which is what you're going to use and connect to your DualShock 4. So, what I'm going to do is find the other side of this. Make sure I have it facing the right way. Find a little plug in the front. Again, I do apologize. I am trying to do this one-handed. There we go. So now we do have the DualShock 4 is plugged in. It lit up. I do have it set for right now what are my destiny scripts so as you can see the light is changing yellow green purple so we know it is connected to the Titan 1 you can see right there the cord just loops around so now that that is actually connected to the Titan 1 all we're going to do is unplug it plug the cord from the Titan 1 Set that out of the way, and we are going to plug our Bluetooth dongle, maybe, back into the Titan 1. And as you can see, it's already blinking. I'm going to push the PS button. And you saw the activity on the Bluetooth dongle, and now you see that lit and the controller is lit. If I hit triangle, you can see both the LED on the Titan 1 and the controller are matching. It is now paired up with the Titan 1 over Bluetooth. 
It is actually really is that simple now, thanks to the new firmware update that Jefferson Cook put out today. Uh, actually, this request came at a perfect time to coincide with that. This is going to fix not only the ability to connect much easier, but it is going to fix a lot of the issues people were having with the Bluetooth over the DS4. I haven't actually tried this on the PlayStation yet. I was kind of waiting to do this video, show how to connect it. Uh, I do plan on testing it over Bluetooth tonight to see if the, you know, verify that the uh, connection is more stable. Uh, I do have a lot of devices, as you can see behind. I do have my Xbox One Elite uh, in here running wireless. My laptop runs wireless. My TV that's over here runs wireless. At any given point in time, we usually have 10 to 12 wireless devices connected, plus the PS4 out in my other room, which is actually wired. So we have a lot of stuff that can cause interference. Um, but I do believe that it, this has been solved now. Uh, please, guys, like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you find this video t tutorial helpful. And if you did and you know someone else that's having issues, please pass it along to them. Uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below or check out the forums over at consultuner.com. I will do another video tutorial hopefully tomorrow showing the older method which is a little bit more complex. Uh, this is really simplified things and I just you know thanks to Jefferson for all of the hard work that he has put in. The most recent firmware update and the patch to GTuner are absolutely amazing. If you guys have not upgraded and updated please do so. Uh, a lot of work has gone into it and it is absolutely amazing. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.